tables. But before we start this video, just take 1.5 seconds out of your day and go like and, and go like and subscribe. It'd be greatly appreciated by your mom productions. And so yeah, let's get this video started. So today it's Tuesday and we just started working on our shrimp tables in the morning. Um, if you saw our last video, go check it out and we got some more rain from the cup. Um, on our stream table. So, we had not much erosion as we did. Um, last week, last week we lost a whole chunk of our land, but we are still standing, and that's all that matters. But, the reason we're still standing is because this wood chip in our dirt. So that wood chip is holding up the dirt, and when that wood chip falls, that dirt is going to go. Now, if you can see that wood chip right about there, it's under the house, so you can't really see it. And we're not allowed to move our house because it's a string table. So we had, we got our sign put in by our teacher, and it says collateral damage because we've had a lot of damage in the past few days. So that's why he put the sign there, and we have our waterway coming out. And he put the boat in. The boat wasn't a big success. It's kind of just for looks and coolness, and so. We are um, going to explain the pros and cons with our Prezi. So we're going to show the pictures of our Prezi. And before Ben stopped recording, I um, just want to give you all a shout out. Um, Cola, Jay, and I think Roman are going to do a QA. and a So um, put the comments down in the comment section below on what you want uh, to answer, what you want your questions to be answered, whether stuff like that. So bye. We're back with another one of our green tables, and if you come closer, you've noticed that there's a lot of vegetation throughout the rocks, and there's a lot of erosion here. Luckily, they're not they're not going to get hit today. We also have a tiny moving on the tree lot. So, a lot of vegetation, and we have a stick that's to be argued is the main reason there's still a lot. Okay, so what we're going to do today is we're observing it, as Koa said. And so we have showed pictures of our Prezi that we put together and will hopefully be uploaded by today. And so we're just going to observe and look and maybe, maybe something will happen. So as Koa said, we have a lot of vegetation. And the reason we have a lot of vegetation is because we did not... Um, put our plants in the ground. So that's, I thought that would be a smart idea, and we don't know that yet, but I put them out there for a reason to spread around. Just, I don't want them to be stuck up in all one hole because they're not going to grow out as much as you think they would because they're all clumped up together. One thing that I noticed, so, Breslin, you're saying that if you put them all packed together, they'd compete for water, and they wouldn't. Yeah, okay. they would. Um, one thing I noticed that this is probably going to help. As you see, if you look closer, there's vegetation down in here, and the water has um, been hitting it directly. It's not you have the cup with the big hole. Yes. So it's probably hitting it right here, which leads that to drop off. But our prediction, if it hopefully if it does drop off, this part will drop off first before the house. Therefore, it will go down, leaving a smaller platform. Well, my prediction, Koa, is that this wood chip and, of course, the roots of the vegetation that's growing on our property is keeping this dirt together. Because, I mean, we have the pros and cons with the vegetation, don't we? So, one of our pros would be that the roots would grow up into the dirt and it would keep it uh, together and it wouldn't fall as likely. But the cons would be that the roots would grow out of the dirt and that would make it come out. So, um, so, I have a question, Sherman. Uh, what are these, what's the use, why did you just plant all your plants over here so it would 
in case the house yeah, blows, blows it up. The reason we didn't do that was because we had the funds. That's why we put down one of our handicaps, is what our teacher told us. We put that down because um, if we grow our plants up um, where our hill is, where our house is, um, the roots from this plant, they would, grow, they would grow up into the dirt and make the dirt fall apart. But the rocks would keep that together. That's what we. That's why we chose gravel as our handicap. I noticed so, that only one-fourth of this is falling off and that it would take a lot. And I think, I don't think the house is going to fall really going to work. So you guys see, when the hole's going down, it's hit it and that's the path of water. Mr. Hatchin said it would make a path. That's a path. It's not going to knock down your house, but it's just going to continue eroding this one. Yes, no. That is a very good prediction. And I agree with you, Noah. But the reason the house could fall because the cup is supposedly, the hole would be right there. So the water from the cup, the hole, it could go a different way because um, our cup, I examined the cup to, from the hole. He stuck a pen in it, and that's what created the hole. And there is a part of the hole where the plastic comes out. Like that. And so, um,. The plastic could make it come out on and put um, pressure on this part of the house, which would come down, which make it cave in. You have collateral damage, so this house is not succeeded, but it's not, no, it's not bad, but it might stay. And we will get back to you with the next video. Thanks for watching. And I'll out you. Bye. Bye. Interview with Breslin and Cobalt. Um, come check out our latest video, round one of the Math Olympics. Vance took home gold with his orange nose pushing powers. And don't click that button and subscribe.